Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Here we're going to take a look at creating a tabbed navigation bar in Dreamweaver and Dreamweaver makes that very easy for you to accomplish. This is the exact navigation bar we're going to create. You can see it when you roll over the navigation bar changes and actually there's a little mistake I have in that navigation bar but we're going to learn how to make this navigation bar and when I click you can see it holds that down state until you roll back over then it lights back up but it goes back to the down state that can be very useful for all kinds of different things so we're going to minimize this and I'm just going to delete my navigation bar here just like that and we're going to create a new navigation bar so I'm going to select right there now I must point out I have dragged into Dreamweaver some navigation bar images and nothing fancy about them, they're just some PNG images that I created and I created one version of it, a, an overstate and a downstate, so there's three images of each tab. All right. I'm going to select right up there and we're going to come up here into the common tools area and we're going to click on the flash or actually the multimedia button and we're go or not the multimedia button excuse me the image button and we're going to hit navigation bar. Now this is the insert navigation bar dialog box. The first thing we want to do is give our element a name. For this one we're going to call it home because it's going to be the home button and I'm going to browse for the up image. And this is the root folder of my site. I'm going to go to Images, Navbar, and I see Home BT, BTN. Excuse me. And now for the over image, I'm back in the Navbar folder. I'm going to go Home BTN O because I know that that's the over state image. By the way, when you are doing it this way, you get a little image preview. So I can see my Home button looks like that. My over button sort of flips colors a little bit, and my down button is just a little bit darker. There's my down button. I've got up, over, and down image for this navigation bar, and usually that's plenty. You can give it an over while down, but you know it's just a fourth image you have to create and load on the website, and it's not seen very much. Whereas these three are going to be pretty much seen when any user wants to do anything with your navigation bar. We can give it an alternate text if we want, and we can also give it a URL to go to when it's clicked. Um, I am just going to leave that blank for now so we don't have to worry about linking it. Now in the options we do want to set this to preload our, all of our images. When you preload all of your images when a person rolls over your image the over image will show instantly because Dreamweaver doesn't have to load the over image, or excuse me not Dreamweaver, the web browser doesn't have to load the image as soon as the user rolls over it. As soon as the user loads up the initial website the over and down states will load. So as soon as the user rolls over or clicks down, bam, they're going to show. No hesitation. So it's very good. I, it is a very good idea to preload your images. Now this is the home button. So we're going to show the down image initially because this is going to be the home page. And typically, you know, you can't really click on the home page button. So we wouldn't give this a link anyway. But we need to add some other buttons. We need to add a travel button, a contact button, an about JW button, and a private button. So we're going to hit this little plus button, and that's going to add an item. We have this unnamed element here, and we're going to name this one Travel. We're going to browse for our up image, which is going to be Travel BTN. Grab our over image, which is going to be Travel BTN O, and grab our down image, which is going to be Travel BTN D. I'm not going to give this a URL either, and I'm going to set this to preload images. I'm not going to show the down image initially on this. Now, another thing um, that you can do is insert vertical uh, navigation bars. I'm not going to do that in this case because these are tabs and tabs you just don't see them vertically placed. Um, at least I never have. Uh, so typically you're going to place tabs horizontally. But remember the navigation bar is not just limited to tabs. You can just use plain old squares and vertically hey squares, rectangles, they look fine. So you can make a vertical or horizontal bar. I just thought I'd point that out and the way our little list of buttons works is whatever's on top is to the left in the horizontal navigation bar. Whatever's on top vertically is the button that's on top in your vertical navigation bar. I'm going to select travel and I'm going to add another button and I'm going to name this one contact. Whoops. And don't hit enter. Select the up image, the over image, and the down image. You can give alternate text, all that. We're just going to create our next button and this is going to be about JW. We're going to give this an, uh, an up state, excuse me, an over state, and a down state. Add one last image, and this is going to be 
private. I'm going to give this up, over, and down. And just like that, we have created a navigation bar. Well, not just like that. Let's say you wanted to come into here and, whoops, we didn't give these names, did we? I don't know if you noticed that. When you don't give it a name, it just gives it the name of the image that you place in there. So we're going to name that private. And it didn't save it. Whatever, don't worry about that. Um, let's say you create this navigation bar. Let's hit OK. And there we go, we have our navigation bar. Now let's say you're looking at the navigation bar and you realize that you accidentally put the contact button before the About JW button. It isn't the case in our case, but let's say you did do that. There's a couple things you can do. You can double click it and you can change the image. We don't want to do that. You can select the navigation bar button again because you can only have one of these navigation bars per page. And you can see each remove will say each page can only have one navigation bar. Would you like to modify the existing one? Okay. And here's the box. We can come in here and edit that way. Or you can come over here into the behaviors palette and you can double click. Whoops, you can double click on this cog wheel. And that brings this up. Now, really, what you need to do if you want to switch these buttons around is edit it using the images navigation bar and modify the existing navigation bar because the way you change the way these buttons are laid out is by selecting this button in this case we'll say about JWBTN and you hit the up arrow and now that's going to be before the contact button we can move it down and now it's going to be after the private button let's hit OK and you can see it just swaps the two buttons just like that and if we save this we can hit F12, which previews it in your browser, and you can see we have that wonderful navigation bar. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. Oh, yes, and I just remembered one other way you can modify your navigation bars by coming to Modify and hitting Navigation Bar. And that brings up the Modify Navigation Bar dialog box. Handy, huh? Okay, so hit OK, and that's it. That's how to create a navigation bar. The only thing you may want to do or you probably will want to do if it's a navigation bar, is set a link. So when clicked, go to URL, browse for the URL. We could say for home, we want it to go to index.html. Hit OK, and there you go. It's as easy as that. So it's really a quick, easy, simple way to create a navigation bar. And obviously, one other thing I should point out, when you're using this on other pages, let's say we put one on the contact page, I would click show the down image for contact initially and not home. Okay. So that's it. That's how you create a navigation bar in Dreamweaver, or at least one way, using Dreamweaver's navigation bar tool. And it's a very handy tool. It's really easy to do, really easy to create one. And hey, have fun with it. I hope you learned something in this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And please go check the site out. That's www.tutvid.com. Thank you very much for watching.